going on guys, my name is GamesLinks and welcome back to Beyond Home where today we have a very ambitious mission because today we are going to Gateway and uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the planet pack, Gateway is a... it's a gas giant, it does have an ocean but um, it, for the most part it's a gas giant for most people concerned, the ocean's a little bit of an easter egg but if you're watching this video you deserve to know, so there you go um, anyway, this rocket is really ambitious. It's got about 9,000 odd Delta V uh, from what Kerbal Engineer was telling me. And it's got some beautiful asparagus staging, which I haven't tested yet. So um, if this blows up right now. Alright, we're good. <laughs> we've got some asparagus staging on this just to get that efficiency a little bit higher. At the bottom there, we've got mainsail engine and then two reliant ones, I think. Yep, two reliant ones. And. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go to Gateway. So most of you have already seen like the launches and all that. So I'm just gonna skip straight to orbit, and we'll start plotting our maneuver to Gateway. All right, we are almost in orbit, and we are deploying the transfer stage, which should take us from road orbit to Gateway. And there goes the fairing. This is what we've got inside. It is capable of landing but I am not going to be landing it unless I see an opportunity and if we have enough Delta V. So it's, it's there just in case, but the chances are it's not going to be landing anywhere. We just want to do a little bit of exploration, which is take a look at the gateway system, because I, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Because um, making... You know, there are a couple couple planets there, couple, well, a couple moons, that I am a massive fan of. One of which is uh, actually one of my favourite planets. So there we go, we've got ourselves a nice orbit road, and uh, yeah, we have, how much does it be? 5666, with a very, very, uh, a number that inspires a lot of confidence. <laughs> right, so yeah, we've got these landing struts here, which should make this capable of landing, but I honestly don't think it's going to. If I see an opportunity, I'll take it, and I'll probably land, but Gateway's quite far away. So if we, if we have a look where Gateway is, uh, his road this planet here. Gateway is this one. So it's relatively far away, there's a little bit of a gap. We also have to go past Scathe, and Gateway is a gas giant. It is big. It is a large world. I think it's 10 million meters in radius. Yep, 10,000 kilometers. Oh, this is gonna be a fun, a fun planet to orbit around, isn't it? Right, so it's time warp time, everyone. We It's my favourite time where I have to wait for about two minutes for it to time warp. Yeah, so, um, fun fun news. Astrogate is not working today. I don't know why. I've not changed anything in my install. So, uh, it looks like we're going to have to do this one manually, which is going to be great fun. Um, it looks like we could get an encounter as we are now. So, I'll, I'll try plotting one because the gateway is quite large. So we might get an encounter. It might not be perfect, but we, we might get one. So, oh, this is going to cost a lot. Is that 900 already? 1,000 already? All right, okay, we might be able to. There we go, okay. It looks like we might. We're so close to getting an encounter. There we go. If we go a little bit further out, we can get an encounter with Gateway, but we'll be going a little bit faster. But um, I think this is the best way to do it. I don't want to do a load of time warp. If I if I time warp, I'll have to time warp a long time. Right, let's get this encounter. All right, that's the burn done. We have an encounter with Gateway and with the Periaptus. So I'm just going to fix that up when we get out of Rhodes orbit. There we go. Let's see what we got to do here then. So if I keep going the direction I was going, we bring this in. So I'm going to bring it in, and then we're going to fix its inclination. All right, guys, I found a way to actually fix the inclination here. The maneuver is going to cost us 8.5 meters per second, which is barely anything, and they should get us into a fairly good sort of flyby of Gateway. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, when, when I get into its sphere of influence, and I'm going to slow down a little bit more just so that I get, is it like, um, a closer periaptus to Gateway? But it's like, oh, might as well do the maneuver now. So there we go, maneuver's done. <laughs> Pretty much matched it in exactly as well. Here we are. Now, I don't think we can see Jade from here. It should be pretty... There it is, there's Jade. For, for those of you who don't know what Jade looks like, 
This is Jade. It's a very rocky, very rocky and icy moon. So the mountains are just completely ice, and the ground is ice as well. But there's there's like rocky slopes, which I, I'm really happy with how this this moon turned out. Um, it, it used to be red, actually. Um, none of you would remember because this was before it was even released. But it used to be red. Fun fact. <laughs> Anyway, let's do our science around Jade, and Bob's going to do an EVA, he's going to collect the data. Actually, first, before we do that, we're going to collect the data, and then we're going to restore, because that's just less, less work, I think. Wait, I can't collect it. Oh, no. These crew cabins are, like, the, they're the worst, because you can't operate the ship. Here we are. This is comb. Now, you can't see much of it yet. But comb is it's kind of like a chlorine world. I haven't actually, I haven't really said what it really is. But it, it I, I just call it a chlorine world. It's that sort of colour, isn't it? So uh, we're going to get some science from afar, and then we're going to get some science up close. And I'll talk a little bit about comb when we get there. Now then, here's comb. We can't really see much of it because we're flying around it in the most non-ideal place. That's a little bit better. There you go. You can kind of see Clome. Clome. Nice. Can't even pronounce my own planet. <laughs> this is Clome. Um, it has this nice this nice band of clouds that go around the entire planet. I don't know if you can see it on the back there. But it goes around the entire planet and it's got these other clouds that move independently. Um, but it, it, I call it a chlorine world because it's got the it's got the colours of it and it just looks really... I, I really like this planet. It's one of my favourites. Now, on the surface, and this is a little bit of a spoiler, so if you want to avoid it, press L a couple of times on your keyboard. Um, basically, th there are crashed ships on the surface of Comb, which is nice. Um, they're getting added in this update. I mean, they are in the previous update, but they're nowhere near as good as this one. Because the previous update, I just, I just took it from like a website and just put it on on the ground and because the one from the one that i had was really high poly it's it's gonna it's gonna lag and there are a couple of problems of it but uh now i fixed that i made my own which is a, a first no, i'm kidding um i made my own ship and i textured it myself and this took days and it was really it was god awful to do and i never want to do it again which is why i don't do part modding by the way <laughs> but yeah there are crashed ships on comb and i feel like they might be fun to explore and if you watched the fifth video the video where i land on hydron i think um that has a nice little teaser around the four minute mark so if you want to want to take a look at that feel free go ahead take a look at that one now it's time to return. We've been to two of the moons around Gateway and we've gotten a fair amount of science from both, as well as a little bit of science from Gateway as well. We'll be returning to this system. Don't worry, we will be returning to Gateway a couple of times to land on its various bodies and moons and maybe drop a rover off. It depends. The problem is I don't have a signal, so I can't send a rover here. In my spare time, I might set up a communications network because that, that's just so boring to watch. I'm not going to put you guys through that. I'll set up a, commu a communications network and then I might film building a station or something like that. But anyway, it is time to return back to road. Now the burn we have to do is really, really small. It's only 244 meters per second and we do have a fair amount of delta V to spare. Now, on the way back in, I might do a flyby of maybe Ash or Lua and get some science from the experiment, uh, the Science Junior, because obviously I, I haven't done that before, I've only done it when I've been on the surface. So I might do that on the way back in. So we're going to start the burn in an hour and 48 minutes, and we're going to see where that leads us, hopefully, with an encounter with Road. Now, the, the planets have not lined up, so Gateway and Road are in different positions, which is a shame, which means I've got to do a lot of time walking to wait for an encounter, which is going to suck, but that's what I've got to do, got to do what you got to do. Now then, for another 367 meters per second, we can actually get an encounter with road. Now, we're going to be traveling really quickly, but have you seen how much Delta V I have left? I have 3,500. I might as well put it to a little bit of good use, shall we? Alright, and this is, a. Uh, this is our path back to road. Now, 
I think I'm probably going to be landing in night time, but we have an encounter with Ash, which is cool. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to warp over here, which shouldn't take too long, and we're going to do a little bit more science, woo! <laughs> there we go, 19 separate experiments. It's nothing major, but it's a lot more than I've ever gotten in this safe before. And it looks like we might be able to land in the, uh, the day side if I use... If I pointlessly waste Delta V, which I have way too much of, it's fine. Because <laughs> we have we have 3,000 left. Why did I even... I, I always overbuild my rockets, which is a bit... Like, I, I just have a habit of doing it. I'm not trying to. It's just... Uh, I, I end up doing it way too much. Now then, you know what? Depending on my velocity, I might slow myself all the way down just to get rid of this Delta V. It will mean we land in the day side. But it's, it's like, why not though? <laughs> I have so much Delta V, might as well use it. I can't exactly recover this vessel either. Just give it a go. I'm just going to burn until my tank's empty. Quick save, and let's go. Alright, so we have a really nice view of road in the world, actually. If any of you want a wallpaper, there you go. This is very simple. I'll even it there. There you go. Enjoy. Now then, this 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 be on home update because I've not really talked about anything other than the game this episode. Uh, it's been a very difficult mission, especially regarding moving over and stuff. Anyway, so this update, this version of Beyond Home, is um, actually, I never actually extended these, which might have been. No, I do have a second, but that might have been why. Um, Anyway, this update of Beyond Home, it will be coming soon, and I just want to make sure I have things perfect before I release it. Which is... The problem is, I'm, I'm a li little bit of a completionist, so I want to have it all done before I release it. But, um... Yeah, it, it, it'll be here soon, don't worry. Alright, here we go, re-entry. We are entering at about 1,000 meters per second. What I'm going to do is I am going to lie on my side to get the most... I, I kind of regret killing all my velocity back there because this means we are headed right for a mountain as well. <laughs> we are not going to have time to deploy these parachutes, are we? I should probably let them deploy really, really high up. Ah, oh, this is altitude above terrain, though, isn't it? But uh, still. Oh come on! Oh come on! Come on! One parachute. Yes! <laughs> oh god, I thought we were going to crash into that mountain. Oh, here we go. This is this is a, a lander design, well not really a lander design, but a capture design that I, I really don't like. Because we're going to be landing upside down and there's nothing I can... Oh no, never mind, we're good. <laughs> because I, I was pointing radio really lane, never mind. Um, yeah, this is a lander design that I don't want to use ever again because it's so top heavy, it just tips over. This is a bad idea, I should have put fins on the top or something to make sure it stayed this way. But look at the valley that we're landing in, look at that. That is cool. That is cool. Look at that, that is, that is a massive valley. I'm happy with that, I like how this terrain's going. Because obviously as a planet modder, I just judge all my terrain. It's like, it's gotta, it's gotta be perfect, you know. Yeah, that, that mission was a massive success, thankfully. Um, I'm really happy with that, how that turned out. We got some science from two two moons of Gateway. And um, we'll see how much we've got at the end. I think definitely over 300, I think. Which is good, because I will be able to unlock the next node in the tech tree. So, let's take a look and recover the vessel. Oh hell yeah! We have 542 cents. We got 450 from that. I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna walk to morning. Let's see what we're gonna spend this science on then. Not another plane, by the way. There we go. Now it's daytime. Close enough. Now let's see what missions we've got first. So it wants us to position some stuff. And plant a flag on gateway. Seems fine. <laughs> That's not happening for the moment. Science data from space frame comes. The problem is we already just did that. Why did they give me the contracts afterwards? <laughs> Alright, let's see what we could get. We could get nukes, which is... Wait. Wait, can we? Wait, no, not yet. We need advanced fuel systems to be able to get nukes. 
Now then, we could go for some planes, or we could get some more science stuff to do, I think. I don't know quite where I get that from. Is it scanning? To oh, it must be this. And electronics. Oh, I don't want to use that much science. Ooh, what am I going to get? Actually, you know what? I'll leave this up to you guys. If anyone in the comments says which node I should get, whether I should go for more rocket parts, larger fuel tanks, or whether I should go for aircraft or satellites, please let me know down in the comments below. So guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Beyond Gnome. If you like that, remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next episode. <laughs>